Is that a hub or a docking station? The lines have become so blurry that many people use the terms interchangeably, but one is like a simple power strip for your ports, while the other is like adding a whole new engine to your computer. Today, we'll break down what makes them different and help you figure out which one is truly better for your needs. To begin, let's talk about the USB hub. At its core, a hub is a port expander. It takes one of your computer's USB ports and turns it into several, much like a power strip turns one wall outlet into many. Its main job is to give you more places to plug things in. Most hubs are bus powered. That means they draw a small amount of power directly from the laptop they're connected to, which makes them incredibly portable. More advanced hubs, sometimes called super hubs, have evolved to include features like an HDMI port, an SD card reader, and even pass-through charging. This means you can plug your laptop's power adapter into the hub and it will charge your laptop while powering the hub's other functions. A great example of a modern, capable hub is the Anchor 555 USB-C hub. It strikes the right balance for a portable hub by including an excellent array of ports while keeping its size compact. Another popular option is the Belkin Connect 11-in-1 multi-port dock, which despite the name, functions more like a super hub. It's highly praised for having all types of port, including legacy connections like VGA, which makes it perfect if you need maximum connection variety over raw speed. Now moving on to the docking station. While a hub expands your ports, a dock is designed to transform your laptop into a full-fledged desktop powerhouse. The single most important difference is that a dock has its own dedicated power supply that plugs into the wall. This external power is what allows it to do so much more than a hub. It doesn't just pass through power, it actively delivers high wattage charging to your laptop and provides full, stable power to every single one of its ports simultaneously. Docks are built for stationary setups, your home or office desk, where you can connect multiple monitors, high-speed external drives, professional audio gear, and more, all through that one single cable to your laptop. For a look at a top-tier dock, consider the CalDigit TS4. It's widely called the pinnacle of Thunderbolt 4 docking stations. Another industry leader is the OWC 11-port Thunderbolt dock. It's known for its flexibility, which allows you to create multiple independent device chains so that unplugging one doesn't disrupt the others. So let's break down the technical differences more directly. First, the power source is the fundamental divider. A hub draws power from your laptop or uses pass-through charging, which means it's a net consumer of power. A dock has its own wall adapter, which makes it a net provider of power that can reliably charge your laptop and all connected peripherals. This power difference directly impacts port variety and capability. Hubs typically offer a few USB-A and USB-C ports with maybe one HDMI and an SD card reader. Docks, on the other hand, offer a much wider and more powerful array of ports. For instance, the CalDigit TS4 has three downstream Thunderbolt 4 ports and a dedicated display port, which you just won't find on a hub. Next is data transfer speed and bandwidth. All devices connected to a hub have to share the bandwidth of that single host port, which is usually five or 10 gigabits per second. If you're transferring files from a fast SSD and running an external monitor at the same time, performance can suffer. A high-end dock uses Thunderbolt 4 technology, which provides a massive 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth. This allows you to run multiple high-demand devices like two 4K monitors and a high-speed drive without creating a bottleneck. This leads us to display support. Most hubs can support one external monitor, often limited to a 30 Hz or 60 Hz refresh rate. Docks, powered by their superior bandwidth and dedicated power, excel here. They can easily drive two 4K monitors at 60 Hz, and some can even handle single 5K, 6K, or 8K displays, which is essential for creative professionals. Finally, there's portability and design. Hubs are designed to be small, lightweight, and easy to carry which makes them ideal travel accessories. Docks are larger, heavier, stationary devices built from materials like aluminum to help dissipate the heat generated by their powerful components. They are meant to live on your desk, not in your backpack. 
With those differences in mind, the advantages of a hub become very clear. The number one benefit is portability. Hubs are small, lightweight, and often don't require an extra power brick, which makes them perfect for throwing in a bag for work, school, or travel. They are also significantly more affordable than docking stations. For many people, a hub is the perfect cost-effective solution for simply overcoming the lack of ports on modern thin and light laptops. It gives you the ability to connect a mouse, a USB flash drive, or an external monitor when you need it, without a lot of bulk or expense. Conversely, the advantages of a docking station are all about power and performance. The primary benefit is creating a true one cable desktop setup. You can leave everything, multiple monitors, keyboard, mouse, external drives, speakers, and ethernet plugged into the dock. When you get to your desk, you connect a single Thunderbolt cable to your laptop to instantly link to your entire workstation and start charging. This provides unmatched convenience and cable management. Furthermore, the dedicated power and massive bandwidth of a dock mean you can run high-performance peripherals without compromise, which makes it an essential tool for demanding workflows like video editing, graphic design, and professional gaming. So here are the pros and cons at a glance. Ultimately, the choice isn't about which is better overall, but which is right for you. If you value portability and have basic connectivity needs, a hub is your answer. But if you want to build a powerful desktop workstation and your workflow demands maximum performance without compromise, a docking station is a necessary and worthwhile investment. Analyze your workflow, consider your budget, and choose the tool that best fits your daily life. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.